half face drugstore makeup and half face luxury makeup. The drugstore side is almost one fifth of the price from the luxury side. Can we detect which side it is? And any differences here? This is me right after putting them on onto my face. And this is after almost six hours. How about now? Can you tell the difference or no? Hi guys, today I wanna do this video half-face drugstore, half-face luxury makeup because one of my subscribers asked me in one of my Chinese videos posted in uh, last week's schedule because I did like a spontaneous Target haul because I went to Target to pick up some of my pantry stuff and it was quite a good experience especially I haven't been buying any drugstore makeup for a really long time so getting back to it definitely gives me lots lots of surprises and you know these good old brands that I used to love as a student back in college so today let's do this competition half face drugstore half face you know luxury and I didn't want to tell you which side is drugstore or which side is luxury because I didn't want to spoil you I don't want you to take on any different lenses when you're looking at these makeup but now let's put on these together you're gonna see them in action comparisons and really contrasted against each other first I've got some primers the drugstore side I have the elf power grip primer which retails for ten dollars and the luxury side I have the milk hydro grip primer this is a mini travel size bottle but it's already more expensive it retails for eighteen dollars so considering product per ounce this is definitely way more expensive they both are that really um you know sticky gel like kind of a texture offers you that intense grip of other products I'm putting on the e.l.f. one first and then milk on the other side the milk one is definitely has a slight hint of scent I don't know what kind of scent this is but it's not a fragrance kind and I feel like it dries down slower than the e.l.f. one in terms of the tackiness, quite similar. Heard that? A really popular makeup product of the year is definitely some face highlighters or face illuminators, if you will. It's all of these liquid highlighters that would give you some of a glow as a primer function. And on the drugstore side, I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion in the shade Fair. This retails for $13, I believe. And on the higher end, I have the Elevated Glow from Lisa Eldridge in the shade Cosmic Rose. This retails for $39, three times of the price. And you can definitely see it's quite different in terms of the texture. Lisa's is definitely more runny, watery. L'Oreal is definitely more like a potion, you know, creamy texture. My way of using these face highlighters is quite a wild one because I just spread it out all over my face. These two are really textures that I trust because they just get synced in and absorbed in your skin well. And let me turn off the lights so you get to see the differences of two face highlighters. Now foundation, on the drugstore side, I have the infamous L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. If you have been a huge fan of all the makeup YouTubers on YouTube, you know this one. This is a true kin of the drugstore foundation. I've been loving this throughout the years. I have two shades here because I want to do a shade match to achieve that true color match to my skin tone. And these retails for $13. On the higher end, I have the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is the newer one and I just want to keep trying this out. This retails for $58, I believe. Let's see them in true action on my face. This side, the L'Oreal Infallible one. This is such a moisturizing foundation. Once you put it on, it's just that skin-like finish. And with such light layer, it already achieves like a relatively reasonably good kind of a coverage. You can definitely build it up, but this is how far I would go for the hourglass 
I have tried out my first impression of this foundation. It's a cream foundation. A little bit more mattifying than I originally expected. The hourglass also offers a medium coverage to start with and you can build it up, I believe, but I don't think the foundation would stack well when you put on more than one pump. That's what I figured. I'm giving you close-ups and also, you know, by turning off the lights, you get to see the differences of the finishes of these two foundations. I feel like the infallible has a little bit more of a doingness, you know, wet look kind of a finish. But because of how much highlighters I used for both sides, I think the ambient hourglass one is looking a little bit more glowy than it actually is. Some cream blushes. This is definitely another favorite category of the year. And on the drugstore side, I have the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Bahamas. This retails for $7. And the Chanel, number one, the Chanel Lip and Chic Balm. This retails for $45. That's a lot. On the back of my hand, you can definitely see the Chanel is more of a oily texture because it definitely is intended for both of your lips and your face. The e.l.f. one is definitely that putty texture where it doesn't have too much of a mobility. Definitely settles down as a matte powder finish. Let's use the Wake Up Pink from Chanel. You can definitely spread this out even more, move it around. Both sides are really just subtle, right? I really love how these cream blushes are formulated because it's just like a glow and flush within kind of effect. How about some more blush? Let's try out two different blush or face palettes. The drugstore one is from Wet n Wild. So there's one highlighter, one blush, all have that sheen in it. This retails for $5, wow. And this is the Hourglass Face Palette, the 2021 Holiday Edition. This is the Universe shade, and I believe this retails for $85. A price difference of $80. I cannot believe that. Ooh, instant metallic shine on the apple of my cheeks. <gasps> now it's really wet looking. I think the, the powder is not finely milled, so it's so chunky on my face. The side, we're gonna use the mixture between the three. Two blushes, one highlighters. And I need to dial it down on the back of my hand because it's also really pigmented. Turning off the lights. This side is already, you know, giving me some anxiety, not to mention this, because I am someone who has lots of pore marks and enlarged pores here. I don't want anything to exaggerate or emphasize that, but if you put on too much of a metallic powder, it'll definitely give you that situation. But from a distance, these are really punchful, kind of a what look. Eyebrows. On the drugstore side, I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This retails for $6. Higher end, we have the Benefit. Precisely my brow pencil. You can definitely see the benefit is more pigmented. The benefit one retails for $23, I believe. Double the price of the e.l.f. I only think the e.l.f. shade description is a little bit off because I bought this in the shade neutral brown, but it turns out to be a little bit reddish, kind of a brown here, not neutral, especially when it contrasted against my black hair. Eyeshadows! Drugstore eyeshadow. I got the LA Girl in Playmate. This is a nine color pan, which retails for $9. And on the higher end, I have the Chanel 384, which is the Spring 2022 collection. This is like a peachy color story, retailing for $62. Let's try out them on my lids together. Base color.
dabbed off all the shades, you know, from the LA Girl pan on this brush. Don't worry that. And I'm gonna use this from Chanel as my base color. Okay, we finished. And what's better than, you know, asking someone else for the comparisons, especially if he doesn't know which size luxury, which size drugstore, I'm asking my husband. So, hubby, look at my makeup. Which side do you think is drugstore and which side is luxury? The same. But you have to, exactly you know. the same. No, you have to decide. Hurry! Luxury drugstore. Luxury drugstore. Yes, you're right. <laughs> How'd you decide? I flipped a coin. Okay, just randomize. He says basically no difference, but okay. But we we still need to see how it holds out throughout the day because the wear time is definitely gonna put challenges to these different pricing and allegedly qualities of products. Maybe Let's not. wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. But we'll see. All right, guys. It's almost 6.30. We had this whole makeup on for over six hours because I finished filming around 12 p.m. As you can see from the close-up, I haven't done any touch-up yet, but I just did a little bit powdering down because I don't want to look like a greasy ball on here. But because I'm a combo skin, both sides of foundation didn't have too much strong of a hold as for oil control, shine control. Usually, I feel like L'Oreal, like my drugstore side, would hold a little bit better but today I use this hydro grip primer maybe it's too emollient too moisturizing that it lost some of its you know oil controlling function but yeah and as for the blushes as you can see the wet and wild uh, one definitely dialed down a lot fade away a lot which definitely achieved much more of a natural effect I much prefer this and the eyeshadow I'm like, I'm so in love with LA Girl's topper shade formula because it stays put. I feel like the Chanel quad I picked out today, 384, is less representative of Chanel's formula because all of Chanel's permanent collection of eye quads, they are baked. You see all of these pans, they are like that curved out texture, but this is like all flat. I doubt it is baked. So this one, I remember not liking it at all when I first reviewed for it because it's just different. Other parts of my makeup, I feel like like eyebrows, eyeliners, even this liquid lipstick and everything like the highlighters, they all pretty much performed well. They didn't outperform each other a lot. They're just like a tight high situation here. <laughs> Did I just pick out a bunch of really good dupes from drugstore or it's just all of these luxury make makeup not worth the high price point? You let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope I'll see you in my next one. I hope you have a great day. Bye.